In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Canon CanoScan LIDE 300 or 400 scanner to your PC Windows computer, and then I'll show you how to use the scanner. So let's get started right away. Step number one is to download the software and driver to connect your PC to your Canon scanner. I have put links in the description for the Canon LIDE 400 and also for the 300 on the Canon USA site where you can download those. Okay, so once you're on the page, in my case, I have a 300. So you're gonna tap on software and drivers then make sure that Windows is selected and your Windows version is here. In my case, I have Windows 10, so I'll leave it like this. Then go down and download this one, Canon CanoScan LIDE 300 or 400 driver and software package, Windows. Wait for it to download. When it's done, open the file click yes then you're gonna click on start setup then click next now you just have to wait at this step until this is finished then you're gonna press yes press agree Now it asks you to connect the scanner using the USB cable that came included. So I'll do that. I'll connect this USB to my computer. And the other end, in the back of the scanner, you'll find the port over here. Like this. And you should have this message, setup has been completed with a green check mark then press next and you can now exit this now next step is to go in the start menu find Canon utilities click on this folder that should have many applications and you should open IG scan utility if you don't find it you can type it in the search here IG scan and it should pop up here you need to open this app and this will allow you to use the scanner so i'll show you how it's very easy you have multiple options here on the screen already for you but before even starting to click on one of these i suggest you choose settings here because you can customize each of these settings to your desire um, options so let's say you want to scan a document okay great go in document scan here click on it and here you can modify all these settings so do you want it to be in color you can choose the resolution and this is very important because when you click here the default one is 300 and this is quite low if you're scanning a document with pictures or some really um, important details visual details so you can click on this 300 and i suggest you use the highest number you see there in the list for my scanner over here the lide 300 is 600 but for the 400 uh, there's even more dpi you can select then you can choose what file name the scan will have and where it will be saved on your PC computer. So if you don't want it in documents, click on it, click add, click add again and select whatever uh, you want to scan it. So let's say I want it to go in desktop. I will select desktop, press OK. OK again and the scan will go directly on my desktop. It will be easier for me to find. Also over here, when the scan is done, uh, it will ask you with what software you want the scan document to be opened. I prefer to select do not start an application because uh, that's a bit annoying, honestly, to, to have an application pop up after each scan. So once you're done modifying all these settings to your needs, you can click OK. 
and now we can start scanning let's say I have this page that I want to scan open the scan bed and you see over here in this corner there is a an arrow this is important you're gonna place the paper that you want to scan facing down and you're gonna try to align it with this arrow here just by gliding the paper until the corner of the paper touches the corner over here make sure that the top of the page is where the arrow is as well do not scan like this okay so I'm gliding it perfect now you can close the scan bed like this and there's uh, two options if you want to scan luckily this scanner has physical buttons here so you can press in my case it's a document and I want to use the same settings we just saved a few seconds ago so I'll press PDF here if in your case you want to scan a picture or everything you can use the buttons on the screen as well instead of the physical buttons everything is connected you're gonna press on the button here or on the computer and all you have to do is to wait on the computer screen you should have a message saying that it's scanning if you select a higher uh, DPI it will take more time that, than if the number of DPI is lower so if you're scanning at 150 DPI it will be much quicker okay good and it will open on your computer the document in the folder that it has been saved you can then open it and see if the scan is the way you want it if you want to combine multiple pages into one single PDF it's very easy as well first place the first page in the scanner like this align it close the scan lid then press document here let it scan then when you're done you're gonna see this message and before clicking anything place the second page of the document let's say I want to scan this I'll turn around put it here that's the second page and click on scan now if you have page number three four etc you're gonna do the same exact thing I just showed you and when you're done you're gonna press exit it will then save the PDF and if you open the PDF you'll see that all the pages will be one after another one so this is how you connect the Canon LIDE 300 or 400 to your PC Windows computer and scan I hope this was useful if so please leave a like subscribe also write a comment down below check the links in the description if you want to support my channel and i'll see you in the next one